You dancing? To the music playing inside my head always. Ah, oh, good. Two girls drink beer. I'm Stina. I'm Danielle. And if you guys Sarah. notice, I just uh, cut my hair. Every single hair. Every single one. Not everyone. Everyone. This one. This one. Oh, don't forget this one. My haircut took me hours. Today we are moving on. Onward and forward. Not really upward. Stonewall. Ipa. Yeepa. Yeepa. This is our third beer in our Brooklyn Brewery pack. The Stonewall Inn IPA. So this one in particular is 95 calories. So for those of you who like to watch your calorie count as you drink beer, this might be a good one. I've never had this one before. This is the only one in the pack that I've never had. I feel like this is their special edition because Pride Month was, uh, if it's August, Pride Month was June, right? Yeah. So the Stonewall Inn was the uh, famous protest at the Stonewall Inn. It really was big for gay rights. You can tell that this can is beautifully rainbowed. And it says, pour proudly. Hashtag, Hashtag pour proudly. The Brooklyn Brewery is proud to support the Stonewall Inn, gives back initiative, and help make the world a more loving place, one beer at a time. And then you get the Stonewall Inn label. And then, of course, it, the independent craft is the Brewer Association. And this one is 4% alcohol by volume, which is very low for an IPA. It is. Um, and I probably, I assume that to be because it's only 95 calories. Yes. Are we ready? All right. Oh, my God. My nails are so brittle. Ooh, that fizzed up for me. Yeah, so did mine. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I don't know why that song's in my head. This has a lot of foam. What do you think? Yes, it does. I feel like most of the calories are in the foam. It's also very light. Yeah, it has a pretty, a pretty light color. I have to wait for mine to settle. It doesn't smell strong. It smells like an IPA, but it doesn't smell like very strong and potent and or floral, like. IPAs do, yeah. You remember when you were younger and you had to do like the volcano for science class? That's what yours looks like. I do agree with you. It does smell like an IPA, but it doesn't smell strong. Do I smell apple or like cider? No, I think it's just you. Cheers. Was not expecting that taste. At first taste, it tastes like soap. <laughs> That's not good. I feel like this is extremely light and crisp for an IPA. It's a good summer. Well, I think this, the, I think, you know, because it's 95 calories, it goes with um, Pride Month. Um, it's, you know, those components m make me think like summer, right? Because June is uh, Pride Month and like, Everybody a lot of times looks for like a lighter kind of beer, whether it be like in calories or in flavor in the summer. So like, yeah. this is a really good summer IPA. It just, um, it, it doesn't have like this. I Do you like this? I honestly don't mind this. And I will say that when you mentioned that it smells apple-y, I don't smell the apple, but I taste the apple. I think that's why I think it's crisp. I think you're right. But I definitely... Why am I selling the can? It's all in the glass. I smell the apple more than I taste the apple, but it, it, I don't smell like an actual apple. I smell like, it smells like cidery. See, I'm the, I'm the reverse. I don't smell it, but I definitely taste an apple taste to this. This is a mild IPA. This is a bland IPA. And I found an IPA that you like. It only took us how many videos? Oh, I think we're well over 20 at this point. I, I do like this because it's not hoppy. You know I don't like super hoppy. It is light. It's crisp. It's easy to drink. So you are not a fan of this because it's not a, it's a light IPA. I didn't say I wasn't a fan of it. I'm trying to figure out, like, what else I taste in this. Okay. Stonewall in IPA. This is from the Brooklyn Brewery website. Okay. 
The Stonewall Inn IPA is a fearless IPA for all with unabashed notes of citrus peel and grapefruit. This unapologetic and refreshing IPA reminds us where we've been and celebrates where we're going. This is a beer for everyone, no exceptions. I don't taste grapefruit. I don't taste grapefruit either. And this also says the Stonewall Inn has been a beacon for the global LGBTQ pride community um, or pride movement since the famous Stonewall Inn uprising in 1969. The book, the wow, I can't speak. The Brooklyn Brewery is very proud to partner with the Stonewall Inn Gives Back Initiative to help make the world a more loving place one beer at a time. Yeah, that's what was on the can. Oh, whoops, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, notes. So it says hops, notes of lemon peel, and fresh grapes, grapefruit zest. Maybe it's the lemon. Maybe it tastes more like a lemon. You know how I feel about lemon. Mm -hmm. I like good citrus. Yeah, that is okay. Yep. I now that I now that you told me what it tastes like, I think it tastes like that. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it, and I do like the idea that they made an IPA for everyone. It's very inclusive beer. I feel like it is a very much a, just an easy beer to drink. Yeah, and it's I mean you could t it's not super hazy. It is a little a little bit. What is the occasion to drink this beer? Ooh, what about corn on the cob in this beer? You know what? I would do corn on the cob, but I instead of using like regular butter, I have coconut butter, and I feel like the lemon in this mixed with the coconut butter from the corn on the cob. I would do a street corn, which is like you char it and then you put uh, like spiciness on it and then you do uh, cheese on it as well. Oh my God. Yeah, I love corn. I'm also, are you, Christine, are you a fan of the Jersey sweet corn? It's like that. So there's like your typical corn, which is just yellow. In New Jersey, we have that like white sweet corn. Oh, okay. Oh my God. It's been a long time since I've had that. Oh, I feel like you need to be like driving on some back road of New Jersey and like find it somewhere. That's the only place. They don't sell it really in the stores. I only, I had corn on the cob, I think on the 4th of July. There is a time in college when I was eating corn out of a can and my friend Danielle, because I have a friend Danielle, she like came up and she was like, what are you doing? And my response was just making corn as I'm like stirring the pot of corn. And to this day, she reminds me of that I, that I said that, making corn. But cream corn is disgusting. I refuse to eat cream corn. I like cornbread. Cornbread is very good. Oh, this. Oh. But on the grill. The cornbread is on the grill. You know what that reminds me of? When I was younger, my mom always used to take me. She's the one who got me into this. You take a corn muffin and you cut it in half and you butter each side and then you fry it. A fried corn muffin. So bad for you, but so delicious. That. Also, I went to Trader Joe's. Oh, my God. I went to Trader Joe's and I bought corn cookies. Oh, you bought that mix? It's very good. I follow way too many Trader Joe's accounts on Instagram because I need to keep up with what's coming out at Trader Joe's. But instead of using regular butter, I used it's coconut, coconut butter. butter. Yeah, and it was really good with the coconut butter. Here's a drinking game. Rewind this video and every time we say corn, take a drink. It's a bit of a corny one. There it is. Thank you all for watching. Check out the podcast. We have new stuff coming out every Friday. Uh, that's Two Girls Watch TV. We're on every single platform. We'll put the stuff down here. And reach out to us. Let us know things. Like and subscribe. And that's it. Yep. That's all right. it. All right. Enjoy the rest of your week, everyone. <laughs>